It's a big print. I don't know, this is something I had in one of these bins. I had like, this stuff in it, so I don't know if I'll actually keep it, but for now, whatever. Space, random things, rocks. <laughs> that one needs a bigger one. I, was, I went to start looking for these bigger bins because I wanted to have a whole row of the bigger bins, five of them, but they only have the small ones, so I just went ahead and got the small ones to complete this. These are ones I didn't relabel. Um, slopes. And then I did light gray and dark gray. So I have this bag of light gray and dark gray that I'm going to have to sort out and put them in there. It's just not the right way you should do it because, I mean, these, these should go with the long plates. So then you just do them that way. I understand that. But I'm not going to try to sell a lot of them right now. I'm going to keep them for now and things like that. So. And then I got to this thing, printed all these out, but I'm not going to use them. I got black tape with white print on them coming. I think it looks better. Like some of these you just, you can tell what it is, but I mean, it might just be the print anyway. It might not be that much better, but we'll give it a shot. Started the, started the accessory sort again. And I cleared off this shelf. And I might go and, because I have two of these shelves, and so I have more of these brackets, which I can, you can put more brackets or more shelves on each thing. You buy the, the poles and the shelves separately when you buy these. So I'm going to try, I'm going to move this one down to start. I don't think, I'm just going to have this as a storage area for these accessories, but I want to be able to access them. I'm going to probably label them because I'm going to try to keep this going for a while. I think I'll obviously um, put some stuff for sale pretty quick uh, once it's full, but I'm, yeah, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do yet, in all honesty, I don't think too much like that. But I can put one here, I can slide one underneath. I think I'm going to have four total, I think. I think I need to do one more to make it, this is actually, yeah, this is four, so I may actually have five. I don't know yet. Um, so I'm gonna get this set up real quick and move some Lego sets up high. And I got lots of open shelf space. I gotta, I'm gonna put that light up here somewhere. Uh, I had a plug right here for my TV and radio back here. So I might have to run a cord up, an extension cord for that. Cause I don't think I wanna just shove it to the side just to have it reach the plug, which I don't know if it'll will anyway. I move my shipping supplies from um, back over here, except this. This is kind of bags and just other stuff I'm not sure what to do with. And I have some boxes I can, should get rid of. This actual box is empty. This tote is actually empty. Uh, I kind of got to get this one. This one has just like blind bags and other minifigs in it. This is the stuff I need here. All right, I'm real happy about this. I got the four trays that I, uh, last night I kind of started to do the sort, try to get spaces for everything. And it's still in a work in progress because you know, you got a bit bigger spots for some things. So I'm gonna add one more to this. So this is so awesome. I'm gonna always try to keep this clear so I can pull this out if I need something. Like I need to find a monkey wrencher and walkie talkies right there and then I will have some of these at my desk as well, and these should not have covers either, probably won't, just the ones that I was using. Um, this is like shooting weapons, pretty much. And then this one is fighting weapons in there. No, there's guns in there. See, they're a little mixed, there still, need to, still needs to be a, I need to spend a couple hours sorting to get, get a good spot for each item. And then here's this one. Got some food. 
backpacks, feet things, so the light's not very good at back here. Sorry about that. I am going to get this up a few days or whenever. Um, what is it? Third? It's Wednesday morning right now. So I'm glad how that turned out. And then I think I'm going to put these extra ones. So I, I use this one a lot. It has bigger compartments when I sort minifigs. I'm just going to kind of just put them up here somehow. So not taking up space here. We'll load that up best we can. And I did want uh, down here, like just a small area for this, but I had to get this right here. So this is on top of this plug, which will help it not move. It was riding the edge over here before. Like this had less than half an inch before it could. Push. And with having all this stuff on there, like open and sorted, I never want this to fall. So that was the decision I had to make. Not the look I wanted with the. Uh, um, I wanted one per thing, but it's all right. I guess, like I said, I'll label them up. Be good. I gotta rearrange. These were <laughs> in that spot. I guess I, I mean, I have room over there. Just kind of threw a bunch of stuff that I had under my table, my minifig sorting table over there, which doesn't need to be there. All right, so this is full of stuff. Just clearing it off. Almost there. This piece I found, and then I was like, well, I like to see if I don't have never seen the piece before. What set does it go to? Looks like there's maybe two in here. As I say, yeah, there's two in here. But what is it actually worth? Not much. It's not very useful other than the set, but it's like, it seems like there's a lot out there for some reason. Well, this is cool. So I was just gonna part this out, but then I look here, and because this was, it showed up at the Lego store, build a minifigure, brand store, I can just add this, uh, this head. I almost said, I don't know if I have any over here, but I think I have some of my stuff I don't. I'll stud this guy right here. I'll take the head. And then I'll have a $3 figure instead of like $1.15 parts. It's been way too long. I should not have spent about two, three minutes trying to find this. I, sometimes I just like to try to put a manhole cover. That's what that is. It's used for that in some sets, but they have it listed as grill fine mesh pattern. So I just went to the adder change. I'll just kind of show you the path. And then you just change item part. I click there. That's where I'm at. You put that in there. I, I, I just copy and paste the actual name they already have. And I'm going to say comma manhole. That's, I got to do it after or before pattern though. Manhole cover. And hook. So I'm gonna put a comma there. Or should I put a slash? I don't know what to put. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna put in here that um, this is manhole cover. I <laughs> spelled cover. I can't do things with, with this. I, I promise I'm a good multi multitasker, but yeah. I'm just putting it as like, we need manhole cover in the description. That's it. And we're done. Except I don't know what these are. I know this is a buy enough thing, but I looked it up last week. I couldn't find it. So that goes there. This one is an extra that I should clean up all this stuff <laughs> right there, obviously. Um, but I'm going to be getting this out of here in December or so. All this, this whole table and all this uh, will no longer be getting dust in it so much. And we'll have room there. I'm going to put like a fold out table here or whatever um, at some point for different things, but just gather stuff is what happens. So I don't know what I'm going to do. My help is not coming today. So um, I might just go ahead and just do that and that. Oh, there's one more on the Santa one. I put, um, I think eight Santas for sale and then five of each of these for sale. And the part out is it's kind of the same for the Santa. This price is going to go down in the full set anyway. Um, once the people can get them more. So these are pretty new things here. Um, so do that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with those books. Uh, I should get some sports cards listed. I have like a, a big huge of like, actually I have them ready over here. I put them in a box. I made two boxes up, like 3,000 cards each. So literally I put this up, it's gone this weekend. So that's, I should probably do that. And I get like 70, 80 bucks. Uh, so that one and that one. And then, might be more? The foot, I think that was all the football that I had left. What did I do with them? 
Um, unless I put them somewhere else. I think that was it for the football. Oh, no. It's not it. It's being hidden. It's like, I thought I had more. There's more. Let's get that on the shelf. Alright, we gotta get in a little bit of a clear out mode. I got this ready. Well, the photograph. I'm gonna sell these. I've been holding on to these for like three years. At every convention I go to, they, they never sell. Bionicle Comics. Got three of those, a pile of those, some of those, some of these. This is the ones I'm keeping because there's not very many um, duplicates of these ones. There's like two of that one. Um, so I'm going to do the one, two, three, four, five. This. Bionicle, get this all listed for sale. And then got a photograph of that as well. So let's do that. Pile of photograph stuff. I found this in here. This is a Panini Instant where you actually like, you only made 76 of these. I'm wondering why it's in here. And what it's worth is probably hardly any for sale. Yep, there's one for sale for 15 bucks. All right, so I got 14 of these uh, ready to sort part out here. I'm gonna do it myself. Um, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I, I did take care of the other poly bags that were here. I'm not parting them out. They're for sale. I got that mail from Madrid, Spain, and that mail from a, uh, I guess a Bricklink seller that's selling on eBay that's getting out of it. So I bought from him a few times before he watches the video. So it is here. I'm not sure. I'll, I don't think I'll open it on this video. Uh, it'll be in the next one or something. It's a lot of stuff. It's, how many pounds is it? Um, it ended up being just over 40 bucks a pound I paid. For everything so and it was 600 I think so do the math I'm not doing math so I gotta get some drawers out put the storm down here and we'll get this stuff uh, sorted up and put away somewhere within these walls somewhere always check the inside of bricks when they're in the poly bags like this with the small pieces you'll find those in there all right we've got all the parts sorted uh, midday nap for Lloyd and uh, yeah let me new I'm just gonna check real quick how many newer parts that's a new part there's one that's new that's pretty cool I love that part there's two that doesn't really mean much but three um, that orange is new for which I don't know if that's a good part or not oh tan bricks I don't have any of those so there's five that tan quadruple complex pyramid is what they're calling them six that seven so seven new parts out of i'm not going to count that so 21 i'm parting out the actual this thing whoever his name is i forget uh fuzzy so here we go all right new parts 630 it's gonna get it up over 375,000 for the second time, but it won't be this week. I don't know if it'll be next week by the time we get to that. Our parts are going down. We're getting real close to 7,000 orders on a lifetime here. All right, here's the order from Madrid, Spain. You might already be wondering or asking yourself the question to ask me, do I just buy anything I see? It's a, it's a valid question. Very valid, uh, but no. Something attracts me to the store. I believe it was just wanting to get some of these. But I didn't have very many of them, and they were really good um, at Brick Worlds. So, got some of those. And then, you know, you keep looking and like, oh, what else is there? That's awesome. Limited edition Batman. Can't go wrong with that. So... Iron Baron. Don't ever find too many of this guy. I think his name is Iron Baron. I want a couple of them, those in here. And that guy. And some more Skull Sorcerer. Why not? I guess I ordered one head while I was there. <laughs> at their store. Oh, this is. And this might have been why I came to to get this. These parts. I'm not even 100% sure, but either way, it was a good haul. Can't go wrong with that. Not as cool as that tiny one, tiny one though. It's tiny. It's like, here's the minifigure scale. It's a tiny poly bag. Anyway, 
So I'm going to organize these and figure out what to do with them. Got ready to work. Uh, I got 15 of these parted out, seven of them. Three to convention bin and five to complete to BrickLink. It's a really good part out for seven of those. That's like 10 bucks. Be, it would be more like $8 each, which is good. All right, this had a bunch of blind bags in it. I all of a sudden just got to wanting to clear this tote out that I showed earlier. And this is what this tote was. I took this bag out of there that had a mix of uh, blind bags and, and stuff. And this is this is my that was my extra bin for the brick rolls. I didn't know what I need. I just brought a ton of stuff and I never needed it, so I used some of it, but um, not much. So now this is my blind bag collection of I don't know what's in any of the, any of those. Never searched. They're just in there. Got Unikitty, original Batman, Disney series two, Harry Potter number two, series seventeen. This is the Bat uh, DC ones. No, I can't find it. Um, is that series 19, the original Harry Potter, got a lot of those. A Ninjago movie. And then there was another one. But I don't have much. Oh, this one, Batman series, I don't have, I have very little of those. And I have very little of the Harry Potter season, series two. I have more series one than two, which I know some of those figures are doing good. Just the blind bags are expensive more than that, so. This is my extras bin. I'm trying to get any uh, any other wine bags out of here. That these see if they're if they're identified. Sometimes I buy them for people, then they, they know what they are. Like this is the banana man. I'll put them in here. I think that's about it. You know what that one is. Oh, there's two of them in there. Percival Graves. Um. So now. <laughs> Check out this other corner that I made before I started. The so I'm trying to compare the best cards for you. Go ahead and, and uh, turn this down. By our members. Or off for a second. <laughs> I created this corner. Lego Movie, Marvel. I got three complete sets of the Marvel here. Looney Tunes is like a lot. So I just got a ton in the mail. So I, I may part some more out, or actually put full complete figures coming up soon. Once I get through some other stuff I'm trying to get through, um, these are the sports cards that I just listed. So these kind of, these will be out of here by the end of this next weekend. And then I got another box ready down there to go. After, once that goes, I'll photograph that one. Um, but yeah, I'm getting there. So I put all these cards that were here. I got them up there for now to, in my face, say, sell me. Don't let me sit here too long. Got it. I'll do that. <laughs> This is all the stuff I just put on eBay, all of the magazines. So I just kind of put them in these bins that I just, just recently cleared out last night, actually, um, of parts to, to the new the new stuff I have over on the other side of this wall. And then um, so those are extra magazines that I don't have very many duplicates of. We'll figure out what to do with those at some point. This is just stuff that is uh, just not Lego or it's Lego damage. It's just been piling up tons of stuff in there. Bionicle, Bionicle, plate collection, plates that are wider than uh, two collection. I got this ready to go, or not ready to go, but this light will be going up tonight or tomorrow. I think I want to put it closer to here, this side of it, so I don't have a shadow when you're leaning over here, like like this shadow. <laughs> yeah, think of that kind of stuff. I don't really need a great light over here, I want great light over here. So, that's it. I love the look of that, seeing that walking through. Love how that turned out. I do have my hands bin. I might decide to put it on the bottom of this one. So I do use that a few times a day and I don't like it just sitting over here, but I don't, also don't like want to run way, run way over there, but I will. Um, Cause sometimes I need to clear off the table anyway. So keep working, keep organizing. I'll get these put away. I think this will fit on the shelf over there. One of these bins, this bin usually is right here. Um, there, so <laughs> and then there's more sports cards there. I gotta take care of. So, this used to be my mini fig CMF blind bag collection, it was all down here in a bag and that one of that, that big bag and this other plastic bag. So, it's now gone. I have the shelf space for now. So, 
I don't know. I can put stuff under there. I don't know what I'll put under there. It doesn't really need to have anything, but <laughs> I don't know. People often ask me, well, how do you decide what goes on Bitcoin, what goes on eBay? This is an example of what I just won't put. I put three of these complete onto BrickLink just because. Um, and I, did, I didn't really research the price on eBay, but the price for uh, this figure alone tells me, you know, it's 330. It's not that much, right? <clears throat> so I didn't have very many. If I would have had 10, I would have probably, this is a case where I don't have much. I had eight of these. I could have took three and parted them out, added the figure, but instead I put three complete, less work, and then there's five in here, one I'll photograph, and then the other ones are still in the bag. Um, just because of the price. Um, that's just how it goes. Let's do, let's just do Lego Jet Jack. I don't know if it'll pull it up right or not, but, um, See if there's any like this with the gun that I have. These are different. They actually have a jet. But this one right here. So I'll show you if somebody has it for ten bucks. This this bag alone is going for twelve at the minimum. It looks like somebody wants a hundred for it and a hundred. I don't understand that stuff. Drop shipping, all that Amazon stuff. I don't know what goes on, but anyway. So Australia it sells, you know, so that is why my determination is made. Obviously, there's some that are not very much, and I don't know why. It must have a higher shipping. No, it's just somebody. Yeah, I, I bought from this person, <laughs> so they have some cheap stuff. They got, obviously have a lot of stuff, so some people do that. I'm just trying to figure out what figure I thought was the choke figure that I bought a head for, and uh, it's not the same as the one I ordered. Oh well. So I was working on this. These are um, envelopes I use for the sports cards. I just bought another box, my fourth box of them. Um, there's 250 plus the extras that were in the last box, and I have just over 500 left for sale. So um, at some point I may just, I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, I was moving, I'm moving those somewhere. Don't know where yet, but they ought to be by my desk because I use them every day, pretty much. I was working on this up here, so. Good camera there, label maker there, that thing that someday I'll use there. This doesn't need to be up there. This is just my box to my new label maker. I'll put that. Usually we have boxes in our pantry. Set it there for now. But anyway, I just took off some pieces that for my minifigure stand that I built there. And this is the first time it's been empty since I built it. Everything's got a spot. I didn't just throw everything. Actually, that doesn't have a spot yet, but we'll find a spot. Actually, I might just keep some on top of some. I don't know. We'll find it. Envelopes found a spot. I use these every day. And then there's those. This is my label paper that I use every day as well. That's supposed to be in there. More things are going to move. This can now, see I have, I have this room here, which I used to be full, and I can, I can move this one up to there. Move these ones over to here, and move those over there, into here. Empty. I usually put my business cards that I to grab real quick, but I don't. you don't need to be here, so. I have this space. A little postcard. Who knows what year. I think it says. Um, This is, uh, these are all empty cases of Master right here in the front, actually. There's one there. This is my Belgium collection. These are all made in Belgium Viewmasters, which are, they were not released in America. So this is just these ones back here. Empty cases, which I actually sold these before. I had so many, I had a huge box of empty cases. Um, people would buy them for like 50 bucks, for like a hundred of them. Some For some types of them, not all of them. These are like the really old ones, this gold. But I can get 10 bucks a case for these. Got three of those. Anyway, that's coming in 2022. I have a file box full of, I have one of those full of stuff. Just of these cases full of, they're actually just full of the Viewmasters. All nice and organized, all the mint ones that I kept. 
So that's something I'm gonna, once the sports cards really die down, and or probably once I'm up to just one drawer of things, I'll probably do Viewmasters in here or something. More to come. All right, got everything sorted. Got a couple same pieces, bricks, and then those, and that's it. Everything else is a single upload. 324, Lloyd's sleeping again. I'm gonna manually upload these, put them away. Uh, so I have a lot of room. You know, I have this drawer, there's room in this one. I can put some in there, I can put some in there. I have a lot of these bigger ones back here. I think I'm only at, yeah, I'm only at 709. I've never used any of these. And then I have all up to 757 numbered right now. And I have a whole big cabinet down here. So no pressure to, uh, to um, number right now, but since I have, yeah, I have lots of room here. So I have, I, with the used stuff, I constantly, like today, I just pulled, I don't know what drawers, but this is definitely one drawer I use because there's that tile I use. So I just pulled these drawers. I didn't have much in them. A couple over here and just filled them up. There's two more of them. There's that skeleton guy. So that's what I do. I just, I rarely ever pull drawers from over here unless I'm parting out like a used set that need like 15 drawers. I'll grab a few completely empty ones to help uh, not put so much of the same color in a drawer. So time to look these up. All right, we did it. Feels good to uh, everything off that shelf put away with the shirt here. Too much bacon? I think not. So for the day on Wednesday, didn't add very much quantity, but I didn't get the part, the sets part out, the set part out I wanted to, but that's all right. Got a lot of good lots, 11,651. I like it. All right, it is Thursday. We made it. We did, and uh, we did good. I sent some of those uh, offers to people that have watching my stuff, 10% off with the current prices. I think I did 200 of them last night, or maybe 400. And we were at like 20 something before that, so I don't know if that really drove that or not. Uh, I've never really done that. Just to try it out, I'm like, oh, you can do it 200 at a time, so let's try it. So we did 10 orders on BrickLink. Good dollar amounts there, 220 lots. Here we go, one for 500. I think that's, I don't know what part that is. And then this one right here has a thousand of that part as well, I think. It's crazy this one part keeps selling. They got a lot of, and then a brick owl one, so let's go. Somebody raided my Chima. There's 18 total items here, and only Venom and Carnage are not Chima. Mr. Chima. It happened before, a few weeks ago, somebody bought a whole bunch of Chima. Which is cool, because I got a lot of stuff to rebuild here. Nice. Here's a look at all of it. It's a nice size order there. There's the big Chima order right there. Sold the Jastro. Sold the Green Princess Ninja, which is very good. That is there. This guy was really good. And four cards there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, first Bricklink order was pulled when I did the listings. There's one lot, so I went ahead and grabbed it. One brick out order in two days. I had zero yesterday. Which is crazy. Still crazy. So I'm gonna. Probably pull the brick out real quick and go and go get my coffee. Come back, do this. You're back in this position. Somebody wants 500, and the next few a oh, few days later, a thousand of these. Uh, here's an order. If someone that watches the channel said so they're working on a color chart. We got some bionicle things as well. So awesome! Thank you. All right, we got a two lot order here. There's lot number one. And there we go. 
survived about three days at this stint. And we're doing the next one. This is uh, somebody left a note asking for feedback. It's their first order on Bricklink. So they're opening a store. Got the Batman with the jetpack. Somebody got in the game early. Only had nine. They wanted them. This is my video came out yesterday, so <laughs> I'm guessing they saw that. It's a guess. Oh, those are cheap. They're not that cheap. Twelve cents each. Oh, 176. They bought all my skulls. All of these skulls. 48. These should be stacks of 10. Yep, 10 and then two stacks of four. There's the order, last one of the morning. And advice to starting a store, have fun and be very organized. I think I meant to say that in the last clip, somebody starting a store. Have fun and be organized. There it is in a nutshell. Just watching Cheesy Studios here. It's Kayla from the Lego Masters. I met at uh, Brick World in Milwaukee. This is, I love it when people say this about Brick Sellers. And that's okay. It's okay. So let's see what we can find. And more importantly, let's see if we can figure out where some of this stuff even came from. Okay, never has a Brick Link seller done this to me. This is, this is horrible. Oh my goodness. There's a bunch of orange plates like that too. <laughs> Oh, that's great. bag. I'm not going to go into it too much detail. This is for another project. It's a bunch of orange pieces, basic pieces. And I cannot believe this Brickling seller stacked all the plates on top of each other. That is horrible. If you are selling things on Bricklink, don't do this to people. Tempted to give that neutral review. I, I don't think I will, but I am, I am tempted. All right. Just been doing... These cards here, I rebuilt 16 and put them for sale, and there's some more that need more parts. So now this is all the cheap I have to do. There's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them here. So that's the first one that's got to build. Build his weapon there. Let's go ahead and do some weapon building. So we need that stuff. So it's four items. There's a hilt, an axe. A sword and a flame. <laughs> so, um, it's gotta find the right here's the axe. The black hilt it was. Got that. My battery's low on my camera. Um, there's that. And the flame, I think I have some in. Yeah. I don't need to pull all the way out. There's one one handed. You got it. That one's bad. It's got two marks. Get a different one. Brought over my Chima sorted stuff. Help me through this because I couldn't find one of these and the house in there, so just need a red accessories, but it's a lot it's more work to do accessories. But I think it's worth it. Alright, I was able to complete eight of them. And uh, I put some of the stuff away that I use and I was switching through for stuff. So, another one of those hashtag someday projects. What about giving this to my friend down south here? South of me. He's really good at tuna. Maybe he could do some stuff with it, but I'll keep collecting. Alright, so the rest of today, not doing much. Um, well, tonight I'll be photographing. Uh, I'm gonna hang this up, get this all out of the way. Figure out where to put this for now. I'm gonna get it out of here because I'm not gonna be sorting stuff back here. So just kind of got put back here. Gotta kind of squeeze it through that opening. Eventually, I'll be sorting that stuff. Um, but yeah, lots of space. And then uh, I'm still debating. I don't know what to do. I really thought the black would be the best option, but. I think I'm gonna go with white. I print, spent like an hour printing these last night. <laughs> I was watching a movie. Um, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, that was a total failure. It doesn't work for some reason. So I tried it in many different plugs. It's definitely the light. It doesn't work.
still don't know what to do. I'm leaning toward the white. I really thought black would look nice. <laughs> but I think the white is what I want to use. I don't know. I think, I think I'm just holding out my decision because I printed so much on black. <laughs> I spent like 12 bucks on a roll of black. Pretty much used it all. I, I printed almost all the Technic. It's not all the Technic there. And I won't use every single one of these. Some of these I won't use it just that, I don't know, there's probably a way to modify some of these so you don't print all of them. Uh, but I just quickly printed them. All right, let's go with white. I'm gonna do white, I think. Thank you. 